Hey, Geo Bruin here. There's been some question about what types of plugs are compatible with the Milton Universal uh, Quick Coupler. So we're going to do a quick test. Uh, I thought it'd be a good opportunity also to just to test the, the flow of some of these plugs through that Universal uh, Coupler. I've done videos before testing various different couplers, including the Stedlin Quick Coupler and the Prevo uh, High Flow Safety Coupler. But I think this is the first time I've tested these plugs with the Milton Universal Coupler, so it might be a system that's pretty handy for a lot of people. Thought it'd be worth it. Anyway, we've got a, a mix of plugs here on the left, uh, starting with the Mil Milton uh, V style, um, you know, high flow referred refer to as a high flow or Euro style plug. Uh, the next one to the right, all orange, is the Stedlin full flow plug. I don't know if these are made anymore. I think uh, Mr. Stedlin himself said that they're no longer making these. Third in row is the Stedlin uh, quiet plug. So that's the one I think that is still available. Uh, number four in all brass there is a Harbor Freight Merlin uh, standard industrial plug that I've drilled out uh, to 250 thou, so quarter inch diameter. Uh, I think I did that on camera potentially in a previous video. And then all the way to the right is another Harbor Freight Merlin plug that is just standard, whatever the standard bore is. I think it's it's pretty close to 200 thousands. Anyway, we're going to test each of these uh, on the rig over here. So uh, as usual, this is a RCM Industries um, differential pressure flow meter. This particular one reads uh, 0 to 40 uh, CFM at 100 PSI. Uh, it's almost exactly 80 degrees here in Southern California today, so that's good for our testing conditions. And I've got the regulator set to deliver 100 PSI, approximately 100 PSI dynamic pressure once we're flowing. And I've, I've calibrated this just based kind of arbitrarily on one of the plugs uh, before we started here, just so that it's reading sort of the high, toward the high end of the gauge, which kind of has the best um, accuracy and, and granularity for our testing purposes. So uh, I've already got a uh, Milton V-style uh, plug hooked up. This is our Milton Universal Coupler, so it should accept the V style as well as the industrial plugs. Uh, but let's go ahead and just do an initial test on this one. Um, I've got a, a ball valve upstream sort of preset to give us a arbitrary arbitrary flow uh, for our setup just so that it reads on the gauge. Uh, but I've got another ball valve over here I'm going to use to start and stop the system and that'll go all the way off for the test. So here's our first test. So that read about 29 and a half CFM. So that's our benchmark. That's the Milton V style high flow plug. Okay, test number two. This is the Stedlin full flow plug with the Milton Universal Coupler. Let's see what we read. So again, almost exactly 29 and a half CFM, uh, really indistinguishable from the V style uh, high flow high flow plug, uh, at least at this level of flow and at this pressure. Okay, test number three. This is the Stedlin quiet plug with the Milton Universal coupler. So, I mean, to me, that still looked like 29 and a half CFM. It may have been just a hair lower than that. Um, for this test, it's unique. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it on camera here just because this is one of the unique characteristics of the quiet plug. And notice that sort of long, quiet discharge of air instead of that uh, loud blast. All right, that was test three. Okay, test number four. This is a Harbor Freight... Uh, Merlin standard, I don't know to call it standard, it's an industrial plug, 
uh, but I've drilled it out to a quarter inch. So no special equipment needed, just chucked it up in the vise and I went at it with a hand drill and you use the existing hole as a guide, it went straight through. Uh, there may be a concern with the wall thickness that remains. I, I, I don't think there is. I mean, there's actually pr plenty of meat left, but um, if you did have concerns, maybe consider a, a steel version as opposed to brass like this one. Um, anyway, let's check the flow. So maybe slightly lower, 29 and a quarter or so, um, but still, you know, very close uh, to the others we've tested so far. All right, test number five. This is a Harbor Freight Merlin industrial plug, unmodified, so standard bore. Let's see what we do. Twenty-nine and change, um, no real noticeable difference. Uh, again, at, at, at this relatively low flow and with no other restrictions in the system, you know, I, I think I sort of hypothesized there wouldn't be a real significant difference in these. Uh, if you were flowing a lot more air or running at higher pressures, uh, you probably would see a bit more difference, uh, and also, you know the smaller bore plugs probably would result in a slightly larger pressure drop. I think we've checked the pressure drop on a couple of these plugs using other couplers in other videos. So all things to keep in mind. Okay, this is a supplemental test. This is not really relevant to the plugs we were testing previously. Um, just for the record, we've still got the Milton Universal uh, coupler and we happen to have switched back to the Milton V style plug. Um, but what we're really testing here is what's on the end of this. So we've now got a 25 foot half inch hose that happens to be a Milton. Um, but it's half inch with half inch fittings. Um, we're going to see what that does to the flow. So just if you recall, we were doing about 29 and a half CFM. Uh, when we were just venting out the end of the pipe here. So we're going to see how much restriction we've added with a 25 foot half inch hose. Here we go. So almost 27, um, maybe 26 and change. So we'll say there was about a two and a half or so CFM um, loss due to the addition of that hose. Now I think it'll be fun to check and see what happens uh, with a 3 h inch hose. So that, that'll be the next test. Okay, supplemental test number two. So we just tried um, a half inch hose, a 25 foot half inch hose. And I think we showed somewhere around 27 uh, CFM. So a couple, you know, two to two and a half CFM loss from what we were measuring with no hose on the end of this rig. So now we have a 25 foot 3 8 inch hose uh, with quarter inch fittings. Uh, this one is a Tecton. It's, it's brand new, never been used before this. I got it on sale recently, uh, so I picked one up. It's a hybrid hose. It's, it's made in the USA. Um, I think they may be discontinuing their rubber hoses. Um, anyway, I can't attest to the long-term durability of this hybrid hose, but it is incredibly light. It's very strange um, in hand because it's so uh, sort of weirdly light. Anyway, back to the flow test. So let's see how we do compared to our 27-ish we measured with the half-inch hose. Here we go. So that was about 22. So that's definitely the most significant loss we've seen, the difference between 27 CFM and 22 CFM. That's a 5 CFM drop uh, at 100 PSI 
And uh, I, I think it's, you know, it's worth mentioning in the context of this discussion about couplers and plugs, because I think a lot of people are worried about the, you know, oh, I've got to get the Milton high flow plugs, but they're running a three eighths hose. You know, there's, there's probably many other restrictions in your system that are hurting you a lot more than the plugs as we've demonstrated here. Hope this helps. Feel free to comment.